Yeah. There's a new member of the team on your shoulder. Is it? Don't freak out. Yeah. There you go. Hi everyone, welcome to the vlog. Today we're going to talk about paid advertising because we are back at it. Yeah, giving it a second shot, I guess. Yeah. We, we tried it a while ago, but then we didn't have the the website wasn't looking that good. And uh, so we're giving it a second shot. Yeah, we have better visuals now. Yeah, I have to a full disclosure, disclaimer. I'm the, uh, how you say, pessimist. He's the optimist <laughs> on that side. Yeah. You can tell why. Well, because a lot of companies are building their business on Facebook and yeah. uh, Instagram and uh, I guess, yeah, Google as well. So we should, the tools there, but we should learn to use it. So if we learn to use it, I think we'll be successful on that one. Very good. And uh, yeah, I also tried Bing Ads uh, for someone who's starting out and maybe wants to experiment with some uh, keywords, search engine marketing. Bing is a good option because there's, uh, there's not that many people there, but the price are quite low. So even with like two, three bucks a day, you can get some data points and um, that you can apply, of course, to, to Google as well. Yeah. And we've seen some results already from that. That's look kind of interesting, I would say, right? Yeah, well, there's, there's a few clicks. Yeah, you need to keep on yeah. optimizing. I don't want to go too technical, but um, yeah, I mean, all tools are good tools if you if you know how to use them. Yeah, it's worth to try them on. So it makes, makes sense to just try different things and see, yeah. see what works and uh, what doesn't. And uh, yeah, so the, the other bigger one is uh, the Facebook ads. That's where most of the investment is going at the moment. Uh, and you set up like l early last uh, last week several experiments. Different campaigns have been trying and testing yeah. and iterating over them, trying to get over like a message and the creative. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, we tell we we make four a day kind of, and then we just see at the end of the day what's happening. And then yeah. if, if one of them is working, then we keep that one and change the other three. Uh, just seeing different options because there's a lot of variables that come into it. Is the creative copy targeting budgets, I guess. So um, yeah, just trying a lot of stuff uh, daily, and then uh, just seeing at the end of the day what's happening, yeah. and then deciding how we want to proceed. We don't have a plan or anything. We're just kind of uh, going along and learning as we go along with little budgets, so we can afford to um, to be at it for a longer time. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that could be a winning approach because we've tried before uh, running sort of longer time experiments, uh, also working with somebody to help us. But we figured out that the best way for us to work uh, in those type of situations is um, for us to, to actually dive deep into the platform and to try with many different variations, mostly because we have mo more context about what the product and the brand is all about. Yeah. yeah. We tried a cool new format yesterday for the ads yeah? yeah that was an interesting Tell one the peeps. um we used the facebook offer uh ad type and i actually saw it today in the yeah. feed yeah it appears and uh it, it's quite nice i haven't really interacted with it but i've interacted with other offers but it makes it very convenient to get an offer uh okay. so basically it's like a normal post in your feed uh but you can bookmark it or save it mm -hmm. whatever it's called and it gives you a reminder before it expires oh, okay. so kind of facebook pushes you or pushes the per person who saved this uh, to go ahead and um, act upon the offer. Is there a link to the website? There should be a link to the website. Uh, as I well. think so. Yes. Yeah. But it's a nice format for sure. It's interesting. But again, we have to see how it's working and if it's working for us. Yeah. As well. At the time of recording this, though, we haven't checked the data from that. Yeah. Because we pushed it live yesterday evening. So uh, this evening we'll check the data and hopefully if it's uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah see how the but for sure, I was skeptical about digital advertising like a few yeah. weeks ago, mostly from our historical <laughs> results. Yeah. But yeah, I'm getting uh, converted to it again. Coming around, yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. It makes sense, especially if you want to build a business that's mostly automated and you rely on a channel that's the only one that you have control on. I think digital is probably the best one. It's also the easiest. Yeah. And we, have, we also have the advantage of being based in Europe. So yeah. all the platforms that we're going to use, uh, the the price are much lower than in the US. Um, so that's a, yeah, a good advantage to have, given that we have yeah. uh, limited budgets to work with. Yeah, we just have to crack the rest of it. Yeah, we need to. There's <laughs> a lot of things to learn, though, like yeah. the, the, the copywriting, the images. The, but it's, uh, yeah, like, uh, like you said, it's best to, um, to do it yourself. And we have a new piece of creative coming up this week, actually, expecting mm. a video. 
uh, was a behind the scenes from our photo shoot uh, and should be ready this week and we can try to use that as well nice. in our creatives online and across all platforms. Other than that, you wrote a really nice founders newsletter on Friday <laughs> that went to our subscribers. Yeah, well, very the, deep and personal yeah. one. Yeah, I wrote a. F it was a founders newsletter Friday, but then I decided we decided to put it as a blog post, uh, Origins blog post on Saturday. And um, to be honest, I was expecting uh, more <laughs> more response from people, but I don't know if. Uh, yeah, maybe they. Uh, Do you they, think people uh, are probably proactively just reach out? on something like that? Yeah, I don't know. I was expecting a little bit more, but uh, I don't know if maybe people read it and um, just didn't reach out. I mean, didn't reply, didn't engage. If you're curious what we're talking about, make sure you go to wherdoodle.com slash email and you're going to see the link there. You can click on the all the key campaigns we've sent, but also yeah. the latest one that we that Julian is talking about. It's a really good one. You should definitely have a look about it. Yeah, that. I'll go to the blog page as well. Yeah. Wherdoodle.com slash blog, you'll see it. It's the last one. Nice. Uh, let us know what you think. We're starting to use very cool URLs now, as you can tell, <laughs> for the website. Yeah. There's a new member of the team on your shoulder. Is it? Don't freak out. Yeah. There you go. Is that a bee? Or a wasp or something. Yeah. Bumblebee. There All you right. go. There you go. I have nothing else to say. Cheers, guys. See you next week. Till next time. Uh, thumbnail, action, point. And someone needs to click there. <laughs> hey guys in our improvised studio here if you enjoy this content subscribe like share comment just tell someone share our journey